something with some kind of display advertising in it, like an image of it, even if it's an announcement. Um, that's what this logo said. The second rule is to amplify the message. So if it goes on your Facebook page, it also has to go somewhere else. So for example, if you just have it on your Facebook page, that's good. But if you have it on your Facebook page and Creator Town's Facebook page, or if you have it on your own Facebook page and someone shares it to another Facebook page, then you amplify your message. Um, and so like I just mentioned, if you guys have still time here, you're part of the Kono district. If you if you're in downtown Oakland, you're part of the downtown Oakland community. Um, some of you might have memberships in merchant associations like Open Zone or Sustainable Business Line. <coughs> and a lot of these places have free memberships. If you participate in Oakland First Friday, you can get listed through them and they'll do some advertising for you. Uh, there's just a ton of associations in Oakland and Berkeley and Bay Area that are willing to help promote merchants and these are really good for amplifying the message. And then I'm going to talk about later about how you can get involved with them. So, for example, in this Ken Styles example, if you posted something to your Facebook page, it would be great if it also went to the Ken Styles website. Um, and the third rule is to get creative. And this is where an amazing Facebook page differentiates from just a good Facebook page. This last part. And I can give you guys an example. This is kind of an extreme example. But um, there's a store called Save Bicycle. I'm not sure they're not in California, I think. But they did a con uh, contest on Facebook. And they just posted a photo of a really, really old bike. And they said, post your photos of old bikes on our Facebook page. And the person with the crackiest, crackiest bike will give you a free bike. And so they got thousands of new likes. They got all these people um, to their Facebook page. And all these people now know about the store. And anytime they post a product, they'll see it. They're getting all this new business in the long run. Mm -hmm. And they just gave up one bike, and they were overstocked anyway. And so this is a huge success. Oh, you're a really guy. Oh, I'm a good bike. But this is a simpler example, like Mark Morgan and Ken Scales. They wrote, uh, sign up for our newsletter, you'll get a $10 gift certificate on your birthday. So $10 on your birthday. Mm -hmm. That's good. Really simple, but that works for them. Um, the next thing, Twitter. So Twitter 